Now in 2013, there was a study that looked at 8,500 veterans who had undergone coronary angiography, meaning they had an evaluation of their heart because they had heart disease. And these men also had low testosterone and then got TRT. And what they found was that these men had a higher risk of MI, stroke, and death in the group that got TRT. However, there was some serious criticisms about the study because of flaws in design and data analysis, specifically looking at how long they followed these men who got testosterone and how long they had to be on testosterone before having a cardiovascular event. Like, is it really due to the testosterone? They also used some very complex statistical models that basically took the number of actual events, which was actually lower in the testosterone treated group and made them more as higher adjusted rates. So this was sort of controversial, but it took off in the media. It led to a ton of people stopping prescriptions of TRT. Now, after this, another study looked at 83,000 men in the veteran system again with documented low testosterone. Now, what they found was that TRT was actually associated with a 33% lower risk of cardiovascular events and death over a follow-up of 4.3 years. And the other important thing about this study was they actually looked at the men's TRT after they got testosterone and specifically these benefits were seen in those men who got to normal levels. And these men were 56% less likely to die during the follow-up period, 24% less likely to suffer a heart attack and 36% less likely to have a stroke. That is really, really impressive. 